Welcome back to Lights, Camera, Akron. We'll give you a second to settle back on the couch. Okay, I think we're good. Well, Kara, it is that time of the show where we go to student org segment. What did you highlight this time, Jay? I stopped over at the student union to check out a new student organization. Let's take a look at UA's ASL club. The ASL club here at the University of Akron was set up to encourage student participation outside of class. Because, you know, we teach during the class and the students really seem to be enjoying learning sign language. And we want to expose them to more outside the class activities. We wanted them to be able to learn sign language and actually use their sign language without requirements for grades. And we wanted them to be enjoying it. ASL Club is also a great benefit for students to understand how to run an organization, to become an officer, and so it's a great experience to begin before they get out in the real world. We're able to offer this experience as well as allow the deaf community to be involved and see how deaf people can also be involved in running an organization. It's we got in the process of founding this club last year. Uh, Louis Riccardi, one of our ASL professors, um, emailed a bunch of his students and was saying, hey, like we don't have an American Sign Language Club and we think there should be one. Um, if anyone's interested, just contact me. If you're looking to get involved in our sign language organization, just email uakronasla at gmail.com and that way it'll go to one of our faculty members and then they can contact you with more information. We usually meet every second and fourth Thursday of the month. It's great. We give the power to the students and let them experience running this organization. So it's a wonderful benefit for our students. That looks like it's a fun time. Well, we actually stopped by during their Halloween party, and it was. I will tell you, I am so grateful that I decided to start studying American Sign Language. There is a lot to be grateful for in this world, and after interviewing University of Akron student Savannah Snyder, it made me realize how thankful we should all be every single day. Let's hear about Savannah's remarkable story. I appreciate life so much more, I feel like. Like, every single day, I don't just, like, go through the motions. Like, I try to find something every day that, like, is exciting or, like, I try to do as much as I can, I feel, because I got a second chance and a lot of people don't. I woke up on the ground because I got ejected. I remember, like, not being able to breathe and I was like, why can't I breathe? <laughs> and I just, like, got up and went to the car and, like, just, like, stood there. So the the day that I found out about the accident was a few days after she had actually gotten into the accident and um, my one roommate called me and as soon as she said Savannah was in the hospital like my heart basically dropped and um, we went to go see her that day and basically just seeing one of your best friends and probably one of the toughest people I know laying in a hospital bed not being able to move was like one of the hardest things I ever had to see. I got um, surgery, plastic surgery on my ear because it was like tore in half and like stitches here on my cheek. Um, the ligaments on one of the bones of my shoulder were just like completely tore and one of the bones is like still awkward. Punctured my lungs, that's why I couldn't breathe. Broke and fractured a ton of ribs. It took me about three and a half weeks to be active again. She was supposed to be in her neck brace and we were supposed to be moving her furniture for her and I come out to the car and she's out of the neck brace of course and she's like lifting heavy furniture by herself. I play basketball, lift, um, run. When I like bench press and stuff, my shoulder kind of hurts because the bone's like not where it should be. But other than that, I'm perfect. What an amazing story. Not only should that open our eyes about safe driving, but it's a great reminder of being appreciative for everything we have on a daily basis. I couldn't believe how strong she was after everything she had to undergo. When talking with her, she had nothing but high spirits. That's awesome. Well, we have come to the point of the show where we get to show upcoming events on campus. Let's go to Jen Danzak with this week's AK Entertainment. Hey everyone, I hope your November is going well. I know it can be even better if you catch some of these events happening on campus. Once again, a Grammy Award winner is in the house since banjo player Bella Fleck and members of the string quartet Brooklyn Rider are coming to EJ. These two are collaborating for an awesome evening of classical music with a twist. Fleck has not one Grammy, not two Grammys, but 14 Grammys. Go over to E.J. Thomas Hall to see why he's so great at what he does on Tuesday, November 12th. 
A part of the EJ Up Close series is Amadeus Leopold. Try saying that five times fast. This 24-year-old Korean violinist definitely has an interesting take on classical music. Within just two years, he has taken over the avant pop world. Go see this Juilliard graduate turned violin phenomenon November 16th at EJ Thomas Hall. Are you in the Christmas spirit yet? If so, you won't want to miss Mannheim Streamroller Christmas. For over 25 years, America has claimed this show as their favorite holiday celebration. With beloved Christmas music from Mannheim Steamroller, along with incredible multimedia effects, you won't want to miss it. The creator Chip Davis is a Grammy Award winner and is the number one Christmas music artist in history, so you know you'll be leaving EJ feeling ready for Christmas morning. November 17th is the date, so mark it on your calendars. Thanks everyone for tuning in to AK Entertainment, where I give you the scoop on events going on in Akron. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Chad. I can't wait to head on over to EJ and see some of them. Are we going to try to go on a date again? I guess so. But it is time for another break. There's much more to look forward to in the rest of the show. We'll see you after the break.